All right, we are back for round two on the draw again. I'm gonna keep that, but I have a feeling that's probably gonna be too slow to be functional. <laughs> well, especially against mono red, yeah. Our deck's probably pretty great. I should have played Swamp turn one in case we top deck into track next turn. Yeah, our deck's probably pretty amazing against um, Control and Combo deck, which are believe are which I believe are by, by far the best deck in this cube. Against uh, Mono Red and uh, Mono Green, though it's a little bit more rough. Monoride is a good deck. Don't get me wrong, it's a good deck. You don't see it a ton though because it's kind of boring, I guess, to some extent, and just not a lot of people playing it in general. I I, I don't think it's a matchup we can win. We need them to like mulligan to four, game two and three to have a shot. <laughs> Metal Worker is like doomed, it's not gonna leave, so I'm just gonna play a uh, Power Stone, but like by the time we get to cast something relevant, we'll be dead probably. Their draw has not been the most impressive draw I've seen. This gains life, but I don't know. Oh, great. I said I would play Power Stone and I played Metal Worker somehow. That's definitely not what I meant to do. I was just Talking, I guess. Yeah, that's... This game is not looking good, but now it's looking even worse. Wow, that was bad. Shrine. Yeah. We have no way to interact with the shrine, I think. Oh, we have the... Uh on the side we have an ancient grudge. But that's probably not amazing. Just gonna use I don't think they should attack it, I don't think they will attack it. If they do it's amazing. Just gonna use it to get rid of the bad cards we have in hand. Like I really don't want mana confluence obviously and winter orb is awful too. We can make a deck a little bit better, game two and three, removing a lot of the bad cards, making the mana base a little bit more friendly for the matchup, but <laughs> I guess we can hope they fear that the Reti does something sick and they spend 5 damage on it. But they don't really have a good reason to do that, I believe. At least, yeah, I don't know. Darity can be pretty broken though, so who knows. Yeah, they didn't go for it, which is... Which makes sense. Um, just gonna try to get their last card. I imagine there are some burn spells in it, so... I think they're just gonna answer by using burn spell and it's not gonna get us anywhere, but... Probably dead, actually. I think they will go like bolt my face or something like that and kill me with shrine and yakel pop. Wow! Hmm. We're still kinda cold, but... Um... We'll not have to use time to use Portal or Char, I think. I don't know, maybe Teferi can do something. Is it, they, they're just gonna go f go after it though. After Teferi. Siege Gang is good. Good chance we still lose to Shrine. Actually, these cards are better in my graveyard than in play with the, uh, the Red T, by the way. Ouch. Ouch, this is not good. <laughs> Probably a fireball they top decked. Yeah, their own return. I can concede in response. We lose and I don't really want to show them more things. Okay, I'm gonna remove Mana Confluence, Wasteland, Reshed and Port, bring in, bring in three basics. Then, I'm gonna bring all these things in. We can't recast the Sphinx. I guess we could try to go for Forge Master for plus Sphinx, but that just doesn't seem great. 
the burning are pretty bad. Metal worker is pretty bad. Winter orb is horrendous. Grave robber, I guess, is early blocker. It's not great, right? But it. Phoenix might be fine. Um, I don't love damnation against mono red. It's usually not so good. I guess if we get an early siege gang slash grave titan, this could do the trick. But we need a very solid draw and them to have a very clunky draw. I guess our draw here was slow and we were on the draw. If they have the same type of type of draw and we're on the play, maybe we have a shot. There's just not enough action in this end. I don't think we can keep six mana. This is pretty awful too. I don't think it's keepable. If one of the land was black and we could take maybe go Grave Robber into Liliana. Yeah, okay. Don't very I don't I don't often mulligan down to four. Uh I very rarely go down to five and Almost never to lower than that, but here we didn't really have any cha any you know option. <laughs> Soldering in mono red smugglers, okay. Yeah, could concede already, but maybe they have no creature at all. Maybe they have five lands in hand and they are just bluffing. <laughs> but yeah, if they just have one creature, it's game over. They are playing blue too. Wow. That's a weird version of Mono Red Burn. Splashing blue for Charred Course into Charm. This could be good for us, I guess. I don't know. I was really impressed by the turn one, not so much by the turn two. Still looking pretty green though. Oh, it's a storm deck now? What? Wow. I thought we were just playing against mono red, splashing black for Ragdos Return, which is like legit. But what we're playing against now is something I've never seen in my life. Okay. Interesting. So the game was over, we might have a shot now. So we could either play I think I could play Tezzeret, but I think we have to play Siege King really. Next round we can miss you mortar their board. Maybe we can just the Siege Gang can unload a shit ton of damage real quick and we're still at 18, so even though they have Shrine and Copter, I don't think this is necessarily all over. It's gonna be an uphill battle, but uh, their deck is not what I expected at all. I mean, you can play Wheel of Fortune in Mono Red, I guess, but the rituals, it's... it's new. <laughs> Just like Stormburn. I hope they play a bunch of spells and go for an empty the warrens. That would be amazing for us. <laughs> Electrolyze my Siege King. Yeah, that's pretty good. Looks like a four mana planeswalker, maybe. Sulfuric Vortex. We don't have the blue to animate that and hit them right away. I guess we can turn the Solemn Simulacrum into a 5 5 though. K command. Wow, blow up the shrine. That's kind of insane. I think we might win that one after mulliganing to four. D 
get back the Siege King. Suddenly it's not looking too bad. I have no idea what happened. <laughs> I'm still kind of dazed we are in the game and not completely out. If they don't have removal, they are just dead. <laughs> Jackal pop against Mizu Mortars. It's not gonna be great. Are they attacking Tez with Copter? They might have two, otherwise I'm getting another 5-5. But then I'm soaking this amount of damage with Tez. Wow. That's one of the weirdest game I've played in my life. And, you know, I've played a lot of magic. <laughs> Maybe not as much as some, but... Jeez. So they're like playing a burn ritual storm. This still seems like kind of a rough matchup, but hmm. that was weird. I wonder if we don't want Spectre here. Maybe I don't think so, though. I guess the rituals to go with Ragdos return and maybe they have another fireball of some kind. The Crave Robber seems pretty awful. It's a two drop though. Still not sure what exactly if I guess it's a burn deck at its core. I almost conceded when they went uh, Soul Ring, uh, Copter, turn one, like literally. Being a little bit heavy on mana when we have a Strip Mine is not the worst, but if they go like Mountain, Yakal Pup, you don't want to go for Strip Mine turn one. They mold. I think I might just do it. It is a risky keep. We could go for the turn three, the Reti, and then discard the extra lands. Oh, turn one Sol Ring again. Rough. Yeah. This is the best card in the cube, if you don't know. <laughs> it's better than uh, Black Lotus. Ooh, two lands in a row. I don't think we could have drawn worst. <laughs> I guess if we get rid of their mountain, they don't have red anymore, but like eventually they'll find some more red, right? Or blue. Light of Flame. I guess to go with Spiromancer. Jeez. Looks like we might have Wheel of Fortune again, Searing Spear. Yeah, the things they are doing are really odd, but it's it's working, I guess. You can cast a Siege King next turn, next turn which is kind of cool. Yeah, pretty much have to. Then maybe they don't do anything, maybe they don't do anything too insane. And then we can rack those return the rest of their hand and somehow stabilize. Charassing yet, also decent, I guess. These games have been, yeah, again, some of the oddest deck I've, I've, I've played recently, in my memory at least. Wow, Skull Camp Pyro. Well, this means they don't have anything better to do right now. I mean, I don't love them drawing 10,000 cards, but I think I would be slightly more worried if they like tap five mana and cast something impactful. If we draw land, we can go Signet, Jura into Signet, and then get a huge. Now, now that the Siege Gang is dead and we cannot deal with these, I think we're dead though. Mm, 
top lane is not good. Yeah. They can probably just draw most of their deck and burn us since they have burn spells. Sorry, I just have to answer a message. Oh my god. Oh, they are not putting skull clamp on, on things? What is going on? They still need cards? Are they moving skull clamp? Haven't they found what they needed already? <laughs> Apparently not. I don't know, we could like draw Kolagat's command, kill the skull clam, get back our siege gang and maybe get somewhere. Their deck has a ton of power, but it's not extremely consistent. <laughs> Vision. Guess we can... Wow, we did draw that. Gee. <laughs> Maybe we are still in it somehow. Copter is kind of an issue though. Guess we can shoot it with Siege King in a couple turns. Ooh, I should not auto yield. I'm just gonna play this grave robber, right? Which is <laughs> not gonna. <laughs> I guess we can rob the faceless looting so they don't flash back, but. <laughs> this has been this has been really weird. They have seven mana here, and they will f huh. storm again. Vortex. Vortex could be good for us, possibly, but they have Copter and another Burn spell, yeah. Oh, they are burning Gyra, though. That's fine, Gyra is not doing too much anymore. I would be a little bit worried if they burn my face. Maybe we can go Siege Gang plus Rakdos return burn them. Oh, they have a Char. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit too much, maybe. Going down to 9. Six with Scouter? No, 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 no. We can never raise that. Hmm. I don't think Sadir wants to attack here. I guess we could draw. I guess we could still draw one of our board sweeper that would kind of rag them. Still gonna lose to Vortex, I think, though. Just taking too much damage here. Can't really use Siege King to kill any of their things, so I think I'd rather him to Turak. That's I think we're losing. Guess we're not dead on board. Uh, I mean we're dead to any burn spell, but we're not dead to the vortex during our next upkeep. They do have a ton of blocker though, so unless they mess up real bad. We can return for like five, but that's just pretty far from being enough. At least they played their land instead of discarding it to Copter or some looting. 
So that's kind of good for us. But again, I think we're just a little bit too far behind. They will barely get to vortex us. And I don't think we have a draw that really... They have no reason not to block with everything. Even if they take take it all, it's like six, and we still don't have enough damage to kill them. Yeah, that's a cool card, but it doesn't do anything right there. Yeah, game over, I guess. That was weird. That was definitely one of the weirdest match I ever played in my life. A very, uh, how you say that, swinging back and forth. Yeah. All right, GG. Don't think we could have done anything different. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about this whole match, but I, I'm not sure. I think the sideboarding was good, the way you played the game pretty good too. The draws were kind of difficult to work with, I guess. Alright, GG. Well, hope you enjoyed that second match. Maybe we can win one match. I thought our deck was pretty good. I, I was expecting to 3 or 2-1 pretty easily, but uh, yeah. I've been facing some pretty strong decks too. I'll be back for the last match.